Ryan, it's great to see you again. We talked. Yeah, about man, you. it's been a while. Yeah, uh, and Matthew, what a what a pleasure! Thank you so much for this film. It's uh, thank you. It's it's really twisted and deep, and, and I'm wondering, you did the short uh, uh, American Murderer. Um, what what was different about the the longer version? A lot. You know, the short was a proof of concept uh, that I made to really get people to read the script <laughs> because at the time I was kicking the script around, uh, you know, I wasn't exactly getting fast returns on my emails. So I, I shot one scene from the film to really show kind of the tone and the vibe of what the movie was. And we actually shot one of my favorite scenes that I got to shoot in the movie was the SWAT invasion climax. That was our proof of concept. Um, and that proof of concept attracted the interest of, you know, these producers, Kevin Manasau, Chris Pfeil, Gene Walsh, uh, Traveling Picture Show Company and GG Films that kind of converged on me around the same time and uh, developed, you know, the script that that proof of concept was advertising. And we, you know, really in working through that, I became a professional screenwriter and I really learned how to make a script better from these guys. And, you know, we went out to cast the movie in the pandemic. So it really was the calling card, but a lot did change. After I made the proof of concept, I learned how the SWAT invasion actually more or less went down. <laughs> so what's in the movie <laughs> is a little more realistic and uh, more, you know, ground, but yeah. Ryan, when you walk into a film like this based on a true story, is, is, is that a little bit more weighty than something that's, you know, totally fictional? Absolutely. And throughout my career, I've played a fair amount of military, law enforcement, FBI, and I feel, feel like there is an extra responsibility to get that right, uh, particularly when you're playing someone who exists. Lance Lysing is still alive. He just recently retired. You know, so you want to do justice to the way these men and women lay their lives on the line, to the way that they pursue justice. Um, but it all really does start with uh, obviously a compelling story from the outset. So interesting that this guy was on the list of the top 10 most wanted alongside Bin Laden, Whitey Bulger. And then you see this blonde haired, blue eyed surfer guy, you know, it's just <laughs> interesting. And, and, and I think part of the reason why he was on that list is the way that he behaved post the crime he committed, you know, sort of thumbing his nose at the authorities and, and giving them the middle finger in certain regards because he couldn't be caught and he was able to evade them. Um, and so I really identify with Lance's frustration and his drive. You know, I had said to Matthew early on that I saw Agent Lysing as, as a shark, you know, not gonna eat, not gonna sleep until he gets to his goal, he finds his prey. Um, undeterred, you know, and so I could latch into that. And, you know, there was a fair amount of materials out there for us to read or, or to watch stories that have been done on Jason Derrick Brown. Um, and, and Matthew did a hell of a job, got a great cast for his first film. Making an independent film is such an inherent challenge. Every single one of them are a miracle to finally see come to fruition. And so I was happy to be able to support him and be a part of it that way. Yeah, uh, and, and Matthew, uh, Adina Menzel, Wow. I mean, you, you got a performance out of her. I, I didn't expect. She's an incredible actress, you know, and, and versatile. I mean, you look at the different projects she's on. I grew up as a, I was a theater geek growing up. I was in plays and was obsessed with Rent, made my parents take me four times. I grew up in New York City. Um, so, you know, Adina Menzel in the New York City world um, is, you know, about as big of a name as it gets, and she's a big name generally. So it was just incredible to have her in this. I was so lucky that she said yes, um, you know, and, you know, you look at the variety of her work from what she's done on Broadway to Uncut Gems, which she was spectacular in. And I saw her in a play called Skin Tight at the Geffen Theater here in Los Angeles. She was excellent in that. Um, so, you know, she's really a versatile actress and just a great person to work with. And her scenes with Ryan are some of my favorites because they're so tense, you know, and the, the, the interviews and the way they play it is just so cool and truthful and smart. And um, you get very lucky when you get actors like Tom Pelfrey, Ryan Phillippe, Adia Menzel, Jackie Weaver, you know, all of them, you, you, you know, as a director, you put the camera in the right place and you kind of get out of their way because, you know, these people are good. I was just going to say that Jackie Weaver is is an American treasure. She just, uh, you know, oh, she's brilliant. Brilliant. Sure. <laughs> <Awesome>. <laughs> we're taking her. <laughs> uh, Ryan, you know, with everything that you've done as far as uh, playing military and all of that, do you do you still take training on on, on gun safety and all? Oh, I absolutely do. Um, I specifically, you know, I did a lot of that on the on the uh, series shooter that I did for a few years. I would train in between seasons with with uh, former Marines, uh, you know, so I'm pretty prolific when it comes to gun safety, tactics, all of those sorts of things. You know, each project is a new 
is a new entity of its own. But I think having had those experiences and background help a great deal because on smaller films with a short schedule, you don't really have the time to do the training that that one needs to get up to speed to look like they know that profession. Um, but I come from a family, uh, you know, military family. My dad served, my uncles served, my grandfathers. I have cops in my family. So, you know, some of those things are sort of maybe in my blood to a degree. I would think so. And uh, guys, thank you so much for your time today. What a great film, um, American Murder. It's just twisted as hell and 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 just startling for an audience. Hey, hey and Tony, don't forget, he's still out there. Yeah. So get get people to watch this movie, and maybe we end up catching it. That'd be that'd be the coolest thing in the world. Hey guys, have also a great Tony, day. we shot we shot in your city, Salt Lake City. So thank you to the Salt Lake City crew for making this movie happen. They're yeah. they're terrific people out here. They really yeah. really are.